Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Huzzy account. We return playing Vex as a, a bit of a counter to Silas. And the reason why I say a bit of a counter, Silas is a very powerful champion that he can almost ignore counters in some ways. Their level one is quite scary. His E grab, his E as well. So like I would say be very careful at level one. So that's the new Swain. I think Riot said like the new Swain can still be played support, but the idea was to try and make it less less reliant on being a support, if that makes sense. What the hell is going on, man? <laughs> be afraid so we did a, a silas challenge of spectate recently you stole my five gold and um this is a trick that i learned from that was go doran's earlier silas and it kind of gives you that uh, basically a fine lane phase where normally you'd get poked out I'm only human after all. You're only human. Bring it down a notch. Do 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 do. Be sucky. Did you guys hear? For those that are also massively hyped for GTA 6, like I am. Um, someone who's working on the game basically said people are going to be blown away by the realism of the game. Okay, I've got a question for people. Would you guys want... I, I am in the part that I'm like, yes, I would. I want fuel, like petrol, de like, you know, gas for your car that you could run out of fuel. That would be sick. Like, that's part of preparing to go on a mission is make sure your car's full of petrol. I think that would be so cool. And like, you know, the, the game in Origin is called Grand Theft Auto. So guess what? If you're running out of car, like your car that you're using has got no petrol, you'll have to nick a car. That kind of goes to the whole theme of the game. And then you could do electric cars and probably get, you know, just down the road. And you'll have to plug in your toaster. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of electric cars. <laughs> I've got a friend of mine that bought an electric car and he says it's the biggest regret of his life. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure it's different in other countries, but the UK just isn't ready yet. TP'd. I mean, ele yeah, electric cars can't, well, they're good and bad. Like, I've been in a couple. They've got no soul to them. Like, they, they are just an appliance, you know? They're like your dishwasher. It's an appliance. It's not like car people. I consider myself somewhat of a car person. I see the car as an extension, as an extension of myself. My toaster is not an extension of myself. An electric car is not going to be an extension of myself, you know? Machines are not supposed to have a soul. But yeah, but they can. They can. For those that don't get it, they'll never get it. Why is a, why is a level 2 Alistair roaming? Level 2. I think that's a bit too early for roaming, Mr. Alistair, when you're not even level 3.
But yeah, I'm not a, uh, a denier of the future. I'm, I'm very aware that in my lifetime I will be having an electric car. There's just no way about it. It's just going to happen. Fossil fuels are limited and we are, you know, yes, people say, oh, we've still got a thousand years of fossil fuels. But, you know, that means they are running out. So you may as well look to alternatives the earlier you can. Kill him. Damn, if we killed him quick enough, I would have then been able to get my reset for my ulti. Because it took ages to kill him, I couldn't then go for the Caitlyn. They just got baited so hard. Yeah, well, okay, it might be less than a thousand years of fossil fuels, but you know what I mean, like, we're running out, it's inevitable. It could be a hundred years, it could be three hundred years, like, eventually we're running out. So... Surely Yone's just gonna go back here. You not? Well... Did he nick the oh. Him and Nicky Mayo implies he wants to go for a play. Hey, to miss the cannon. Wonderful. Lovely fear. Well, this Swain pick doesn't seem to be working very well, does it? Does so much free damage. Again, I'll be playing Silas this week. How easy the champ is to play. He is crazy strong. He is crazy. An ally has been slain. He is crazy. This Alistair keeps making quite a lot of mistakes. Oh, one lad. Nice, one each. That Jarvan hard forced that, and I don't really know why. Uh, he, like, but Silas just went in, and Silas, by the way, flashed out, and then Jarvan went in, completely disconnected from each other. I don't think he's got TP. Should be able to get one plate. Screen support feels so weak. Okay. I've, I've yet to play the new Swain, but I, I have... I've been resisting to play it because I have heard it's just garbage. So I don't really want to play it when it's absolutely garbage, you know? I want to play it when it feels good. What are the Swain changes? Um, fundamentally, he does less damage with his ultimate, I think does more damage with his abilities but his ultimate you can actually do multiple like booms you know like the big Im impulse boom boom thing you can do multiple of them uh oh i just realized we have an alistair wait what you're here again are they duo instantly comes back to mid um Alistair is one of the best ults for Silas to steal because basically Silas gets to keep all of his insane damage 
but then basically becomes unkillable. So, somewhat problematic. Garvin's trying to gank me again. I am sus. Sus, sus, sus. And Bess is out this week, by the way, everybody. I think that's just going to be a mess. Like, I can't tell if she's going to release with a 40% win rate or a 60% win rate, but it's going to be one of the two. Um, what? Jesus Christ! Yorick didn't move! Okay. Oh my god, it's Jarvan. Tilted. He's tilted boy. Are you guys excited for the new Gladiator film? I also don't know if that's going to be good or not. I hope it is, but I don't know why my hopes are quite low. Is that my pup pup puppy? Hello, pup pup puppy. Hello, puppy. I don't want to roam. Vision just right in my way. What is he doing? Okay, I'm gonna predict that this guy doesn't play Silas and he's just playing it because Silas is OP. Because, like, Genuinely, this guy is just making so many mistakes. Oh, we're trying to maximize tower plates. Jarvan might show up. I don't think I'll die ever to a Jarvan, though. Yeah, like, he just doesn't do anything. A bot lane, I can't tell if my bot lane's winning or not, by the way. Like, they do really good things, and then they go for really what well, looks to be like really terrible tower dives quite often. And then they kind of throw away a lot of what they're working at for a really bad tower dive. It's like, oh. Silas and Galio pick rate spike because of Faker. Have they actually spiked? I could understand Silas spiking, because Silas is like a crazy carry in solo queue. Galio? I don't know. Galio's a team kind of champion. You know, Galio only works if um, your team is good. If your team sucks, then it's not worth picking Galio, you know?
Dude, Kaden does too much damage. Well, it's Collector. Like, this item is just stupid. The item just needs to go away. Wow, that was really bad. Ah, that's the... He is 0-6. Like, he's not actually having a very good game. And he was the one that was roaming top lane at level 2, so it's like... Mm -hmm. I want the Alistair pinging. Like, she's 7 and 2. Alistair's the one that's made a lot of mistakes, but yet he's, like, spink pinging and stuff. I don't like that. No way he pushes still, right? No. Oh, here's a Silas. They might. When you're playing a really strong champion, you sometimes do illogical things. Because you know your champion, because sometimes your champion can just save you because of how strong the champion is. Uh, there is a limit. I keep forgetting they have a Yone, so that's really scary. I think Swain... Oh God, I was going to say, he might still be dead. Yorick is literally super glued. I know it's a Yorick player, but like you could move. He literally is just not moving at all. Please kill it. Oh, thank God. I thought I died. Cool. She just evolved. I choose you, Pikachu. Wait, he's taking Ghost against a Yone. Surely Flash is a lot better against a Yone to, like, you know, dodge his ult. That was a good play by Ali. I think we all thought he's flashing into the danger, but it helped them kill him quicker. So the best off or well, the best defense is kill the other team. You can't die if they're dead. Big brain. What the hell? Oh, this Jarvan, man. I presume autofill is happening. Me thinks he's not a jungler. This, uh, these enemy. That was Yone's first death. And he'll be annoyed by that. That Jarvan forced that play like mad. And like just not really any reason. He flashed, still died. He's 1 and 5, having a really bad game. I, I'm guessing the Jarvan's like, right, I'll go to the Yone because Yone is strong. But that just kind of backfired. It would have worked, obviously, against the Yorick, probably. But what the Yorick did, he did good. He survived. He backed out. And then me and Kaiser, who are both strong, we went over there. Why is he so tanky? Why did I hear Silas laughing?
Damn. I ulted double straight away because I was like, we could just blow him up. That'd be cool. He didn't couldn't, couldn't blow him up in time. But we denied him from getting anything. And that's half the battle against the Yono. Cool beans. There's no way I catch this, Caitlyn. Oh, they know I'm there. How do they know I'm there? What the heck? Did he randomly just do that? Or did he know? Yorick, you need... Yorick, go match the Yone. You're the top laner. Go match the Yone. Oh, why didn't you go? What is this, like, Ring of, Ring of the Rosies? What's going on? Boomba, baby! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 There we go. <laughs> hey! This Yorick did nothing this entire game. That was nice. Very nice. I'm not even honoring the Yorick. He did nothing. I want to the Yone. I don't want to honor a Yorick that refused to move in every single situation. All right, we got Emerald 1. Went 619, 19.8k, 4k damage Silas. Wow. That's like genuinely impressively bad. He's not a Silas player. Yeah, I think we kind of guessed that. So again, this might be one of those examples. He's playing Silas because Faker played it in Worlds. Oh, I'll give it a go. But oh my god, it is. What what champion did this Silas play last game? Galio. He literally played Galio last game, and now he's playing Silas this game. So this guy is legit. He's legit just playing stuff he saw in Worlds. <sighs> oh well. Uh, Graves is the highest damage. Uh, then me, then the Kaiser. Obviously, Yorick's damage is really low, but that's the thing. Yorick basically didn't get involved in any of this game, and Silas still does like 3k damage less. That's crazy. But uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, is there anything else worth showing? Uh, yeah, he's like Yorick player. Not really. That Graves plays it a decent amount, but actually has a negative win rate on the champion. The Caitlyn is tilted. She has a 29% win rate on Caitlyn, and she just went 1-9 and nine her previous game on Kaiser, and now she got absolutely owned by a Kaiser, so that's probably going to be quite tilting. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime.